I've been posting a lot about my vegan journey on TikTok, and I've seen a lot of people saying that they would go vegan, but it's too expensive, it's too hard, da 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 da. And trust me, by the end of this video, you will be ready to start your vegan journey. So here are five things I wish I knew before I went vegan. What's up YouTube, it's the one and only Wave Kid and I'm back for another video. I wanna start by saying I appreciate y'all so much for your support. A lot of you enjoyed my last vegan cooking video, so this video is for anybody who's trying to go vegan or just has an interest in veganism. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified for my next video. Read the title. Don't you wanna see that? Read the title. I know you wanna see that. Now, number one, all vegan food is not good for you. Vegan means that it's no animal products whatsoever. And this could be as far as your diet, or this can go into the clothes you wear and the products you use and stuff like that. Just because it isn't meat doesn't mean it's healthy though. When starting out, you might get into Beyond Burgers or Impossible Meat, things like that. And both of those are really good for transitioning, but over time, a lot of those meat replacements contain soy, sodium, and saturated fat, which leads to heart diseases. Some healthy meat replacements that I would recommend are beans. She made fucking beans. What the fuck? Soy-free tofu, oyster mushrooms, and trumpet mushrooms. So, if you get into the Beyond Meat, that's okay. But just don't stay in that hey, don't stay in that stage for too long. Number two, this kind of piggybacks off of number one as far as transitory food. And number two is to not go cold turkey with veganism. Do not try to go cold turkey and say, oh, tomorrow I'm starting my vegan journey. No. Now you may hear from somebody else that you should, but I'm going to personally tell you not to. In 2020, I went vegan, cold turkey, and that lasted about two months. Now, I went vegan in a transitional way this time and I'm not going back to eating meat. I feel if you do it in a transitional way, then you'll actually not have the cravings. If you go cold turkey, you're gonna be like, all right, like, I want some chicken, I want some salmon, I want some da, 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 da. Right, which you don't want. But if you do it in a transitional way, your mind will get disciplined and it won't even want it no more. It'll be used to removing things from your diet. So if you start out by removing red meat and then you remove poultry and then you remove seafood, if you do it in that way, your brain is not saying, all right, I'm taking all these things out of my diet at once. No, you're gonna take your time with it and you're gonna lead up to it. And from, from the seafood, then that's when you go into your Beyond Meat and then you could take that out your diet as well. Now, what I will say is once you get to the point where you're only eating fully plant-based things, something will click in your brain and you will not want any of that other stuff anymore. You can be like, I can't eat flesh. I can't eat something that's dead. Number three, preparation. Now I say preparation because being vegan will make you think ahead. You're gonna have to think ahead as a vegan, okay? You gotta look at that menu before you go to that restaurant. You gotta know what you're gonna eat the next day. Now you may have heard that as a vegan, you will have to cook and you will, but don't let this intimidate you. There are a plethora of easy vegan meals to make and don't worry because I will be dropping a video on that as well this week. That's why I said you gotta have the notification bell turned on because if you don't even wanna eat nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like you but as far as eating out, make sure you check the menu ahead of time because there's a lot of places that are just now starting to incorporate veganism into their meals. Also, you may want to request that your food is made in olive oil or avocado oil instead of butter because, of course, butter is not vegan. It comes from cows. Now, another thing we've talked about on this channel is social anxiety, right? But when you're vegan, you're going to have to stand firm and whatever you, whatever you got to say about your food, you're going to have to stand firm in it. So... If you're going to order ahead online, put a long list of special instructions and you could do that. But all in all, just be ready to stand on your veganism. Number four, when it comes to nutrients, early on, you do want to take a lot of vitamins. You don't want your body to have a bad reaction to losing nutrients like vitamin C, B12, vitamin D, zinc, calcium, things like that. 
So you want to incorporate them vitamins in because while you're transitioning into veganism, there might be some things that your body start missing out on. Number five, the biggest lie about being vegan is that it is expensive. Now I'm not gonna lie, at certain restaurants, they do tax you for it. They know what they're doing, they gonna tax you. As far as cooking, being vegan is not that hard on the pockets. It's not, it's not gonna damage you in a bad way, okay? Now, for some starter foods, that I would start incorporating. Now, if I was starting over as a vegan from scratch with what I know today, I would start off with avocados, quinoa, beans, arugula, mushrooms, things like that. Start incorporating those things into your diet now. So that way, it won't be like you're unfamiliar to the things that you're cooking or the things that you're eating. And also, these are items that are low cost, but efficient, will fill you up and can fill your family up as well. I will be doing a full video on low cost vegan meals under $25. So, like I said, hit that bell. Now, this is the end of this video, but this is not the end of your vegan journey. So my question for you today is how are you gonna move forward knowing this information? Is it time to make that transition? You gonna take that red meat out your diet? You gonna take that chicken out your diet? I think it's about that time. You clicked on this video for a reason. It's a line. It's time for you to make that transition. And make sure you comment below your answer because whoever has the best answer will be receiving a cash app straight out of my pocket. And when I send you that cash app, you know what I want you to do? Go get some vegan food. That's what I want you to do, okay? So thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go show some love and positivity today. And that's it. See you on the next one.